Welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play your GameCube and Wii games at 1080p, or even 4K. The first step is we need to install the Dolphin emulator. So you want to go to dolphin-emu.org, and then once you're at this page, you want to click on the big blue button which says Download Dolphin. Once you're on this page, you're going to see a section that says beta versions. You're going to see a section that says development versions, but we want to go all the way down to stable version. Now simply click on Windows X64 or Mac OS X, depending on which operating system you're using. I'm currently using Windows, so I'll be clicking on the Windows X64 link. Great, so once you've downloaded Dolphin, simply right click on the icon and go to run as administrator we can then begin the installation process. So you wanna select whichever language is relevant to you. I'm gonna pick English. Then make sure you read through the licensing agreement and go to I agree. And then make sure base, DirectX runtime and Visual C++ 2015 redistributable are selected. And then press next. Then once you've done that, you can select a location to install Dolphin. I'll just be leaving it on the default location and then press install. Perfect, and once that's done, simply press finish. And now we're ready to open Dolphin, so simply go to your start menu or desktop shortcut. When you open Dolphin for the first time, this is the screen you'll be presented with. So in this empty white area here is where you would normally see all your GameCube or Wii games. So I'm going to assume you've already dumped a few of your Wii and GameCube games to your computer's hard drive. So we want to now point Dolphin to the folder where you have kept your games. We want to go to Options, Configure, and go to Paths, and you want to press Add and basically add the folder which contains your games. So as you can see, I've added the path to my Nintendo Wii games. Now I tend to keep my Wii and GameCube games separately in separate folders. Fortunately, you're able to add multiple folders. So I'm going to now add my GameCube games. Once you've added all of your folders, simply press OK. And then Dolphin will begin scanning those folders for any games. And there we go. Next thing we'd want to do is configure our controller. So we can go to Options and Controller Settings. So if you want to configure, say, your Xbox controller, you're able to simply go to Configure, and this will present all the buttons on, say, the GameCube controller, and then you can simply just choose a button here and then just select the relevant button on your Xbox game controller. Then once you're done, I would type in the name of a profile here. So maybe you could type in Xbox controller and then press save and then press OK. Don't forget to save this. Otherwise, the next time you open up Dolphin, you'll have to reconfigure this all over again. So here, I'm just going to press OK. And you can also do the same here if you want to configure the Wiimote controller. Just go to configure, select whichever button and then just press OK. Then once you're done, press OK. So now the bit you've probably all been waiting for, how do we upgrade the graphics from the traditional to say 1080p or 4K? So we want to go to options, go to graphics settings, and then go to enhancements. So here you can see it's currently set to the native Wii resolution and you're able to go down. And then it entirely depends on how powerful your computer is. So I'm currently using an RTX 260, so I can fairly comfortably push it up to 4K with no real issues. However, if you're worried that your machine might not be as strong, maybe first just try 720p and see how your performance goes. And if you're comfortable with it, then maybe push it up to 1080p and then keep going up one until you get to a point where you feel you might be pushing your computer to your limits. So for this video, I'm going to select 4K which is six times the native resolution. And once you're done, just press close. And now the moment of truth. So what I'll do is I'll load up new Super Mario Brothers and have a side-by-side -side comparison of the graphics running at the native resolution. So what you would have seen on your Wii or GameCube back in the day. And I'll show you what it looks like at 4K. So if you want to load a game, it's as simple as double clicking whichever game you want to play on your list. Personally, I think that's a huge visual upgrade. Anyway, I hope this video was useful, and if you did find it helpful, please do consider subscribing to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.